Okay. Th thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm Angela de TVG. Okay. Let it be a complex and equal group, and uh, the head is a uh, set of isomorphism class of complex irreducible representations. Uh, for a closed subgroup, we want to define a map from the set the head to the set of integers, where we just associate a uh, number, associate a representation. It's a, in sta it's a uh, di dimension of invariant subspace. So, so, so we, we gave this map a name. We call it as a, the dimension datum, uh, the subgroup H. And uh, uh, and we can say D H this. Uh, this map DH can can comp compute the Laplacian spectrum of the homogeneous space. Uh, if we put a by in word by in the metric on the on the company group G and uh, and the quotient metric. Uh, and the quotient metric on the on the quotient space. So 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 in this sense, uh, this uh, this object DH is a is a is a is a spectral of just is some kind of spectral inf information of the subgroup H. And, and as I said, so to, to lo low in DH is equivalent to low uh, the space of L2 functions on the quotient manifold. As a representation of G. Okay, this is this follows from 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 Bellus. We say per se P. Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, the last remark. Last remark is is there's a two two sub two close subgroups have have this. The same dimension, if only if for uh, we have this equality. Well, we need to define the, the map pi. P. And this one is the set of conjugate classes. The job is that set a conjugate class of G, and the D mu H I is normalized the harmer. Okay, so so these are some remarks about the about the 
this map, we, this object the DH. So we can consider DH as a map from the header to the integer set, or we can or can consider it's a, a element, a, a element in in this space. In this space, it was just a, just a map from the header to Z. Okay. Mm. Now, now let's just have some simple examples. All the kind of map can can t can DHB. Okay. So we look at a simple. Um, the run get to group SR2, SU2. For this group, we load the set of uh, complex irreducible representations. It's just uh, all symmetric uh, tensor product uh, with a natural representation. So, uh, so first we look at the, the, the cyclic subgroup. Order N. Okay, then uh, what, what are the invariant dimensions? So we load, we load the weight space, we, we load the set of weights, we load the set of weights of row n, into the set of n, n minus two, two minus n. Oh, sorry. Not, not the second view, oh, order m. Different letter. So the weights are from n to minus m, difference two. Okay, arithmetic progression. So so uh, now a uh, an eigenvector to be invariant under the cyclic group if only if the weight is a multiple of m. So so dh rho n is just the number of integers between between mass n and n, and uh, con con congruent to to n modulo two, and uh, it's a multiple of m. So we can we we, we can calculate it from by by, uh, by Gaussian Gaussian functions. We do so, so, so now we just take it. Uh, Chorus. Okay. In this case, again, w w the set of weights are of this form. But uh, we take the whole torus. Then only the the weight is zero. With the zero, I can I can vector is invariant. So so in this case, the number of uh, the dimension of invariant vectors is uh, one. If n is even and zero. If n is order, so so now we take a more complex, more complicated group. It's uh, the torus and another element. Uh, some uh, n normalized the torus. They generate us. Okay. Generate a subgroup. Now, in this case, again, if row n has an invariant uh, work under this, uh, this, this group, then it will have an invariant under the, the torus. So, so if the invariant dimension is not zero, n must be even. Furthermore, uh, the row n has an invariant vector if only if n is a multiple of four. Okay. So at least that uh, we can say for, for the S, SU2 and, the, and for these three kinds of subgroups, we can calculate uh, the invariant dimensions. Now we look at a, a different kind of example. So if, if H and H1 and H2 are, are highlight subgroups, Uh, then, then, 
can we have an equivalent description uh, for this condition? That's two, two, the two members are equal if only if H1 in the second with C equals eight, the number of elements in H1 in the second with, with C equals the number of elements in the set H2 in the second with C. Where C is, uh, C is any conjugate C. Plus L G, okay, and uh, and uh, this condition, the subgroup satisfies this condition. Has a has a name called the Gaussman equivalent. Yeah, this condition has a name called the Gaussman equivalence. Okay, so we look at the example. So, so, so look at the example. So we just take g equals s6, or you can take g or g, uh, u6, or s u6. And then we take a subgroup, h1 is a 1, 2, 3, 4, once. So generated by these two uh, permutations. And h2 generated by these two permutations. Now you can say uh, the H1 and H2 are non-conjugate non -conjugate subgroups. They, they are both uh, uh, Klein, uh, Klein groups, the C2, C2 cross C2. They are isomorphic, but they are not conjugate. Since uh, H1 fixes the, H, the action of H1 on the, on the letters 1, 2, 6, fix 2, fix 5, and 6, but H2 has, uh, H2 has no fixed has no fixed matter. Yeah, so they are not conjugate. But, uh, but uh, DH1 equals DH2. Since uh, the, um, the non identity elements in H1 and H2 are, are all conjugate to this element, 1, 2, 3, 4. Some permutation. Okay. So now we. Uh, now our orbit, our. our One minute. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, our aim is uh, to understand the uh, which kind of subgroups can have this relation. Uh, So maybe we give a, okay, well we, we just state the data. The data. So we have so that effect H1 equals H2. This one where implied the number of the number of connected components are equal. And the moreover for the connected component containing identity element, the group as Third dimension as they are equal. Moreover, uh, they must they have the same dimension. But now, now we now we we we, we find, finally we fixed by so, so more sophisticated example.
Now we take a G as the unit as special unit group of S form plus two variables. And H1, H1 is a subgroup as morphic to the unit group of two N plus one variables. Variables. H2 is a the product SPN and SO2 plus two. In this case, we have DH1 equals DH2. Okay. And and moreover, uh, moreover we can show so that if 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 we have if we have the, if two subgroups have the same dimension, then somehow some then somehow modul uh, modular and equivalence generated by these examples, uh, the the, the near difference uh, the groups will be will, will be the same. Yeah. So so like so it's like that this is uh, the the most the typical example. So can I have one one or two me? So now we, we just so, so, so I I I I didn't notice the data the theorem, but I I just I just said so the roughly that uh, this is the typical example. Okay, by the way, now we discuss a similar question. I mean, uh, the question is given a Article third K I will discuss a, 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 a similar but a different question. So that if we, if we are given a periodic field and a, a integer, so can, can one can one determine the algebra algebra subgroups if we load if we load the conjugates of the maximum tori of the subgroup? So uh, somehow somehow yeah. Somehow this question is, is the uh, with with the previous question we discussed the uh, is alone uh, both unnecessary questions with 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 with, with some sets, with different kinds of conditions. It turns out that there are, there are also some examples like this for for this question, and also there are some positive. Positive answers to it. Okay. I'm sorry for for over running the time. 